Welcome back to the channel guys where you're joining myself and Dan at Rudding Park Golf Club to unveil some big news. Big news. We're playing their six old short and par three course where yeah. they've tried to replicate some of the best par threes in the world. Yeah. And we're not going to tell you which par threes they are. They are. We're going to let you guess. Quite quick, isn't it? I had a quick look on way in. We'll have a little free old vlog. It is only free holes today because it's winter golf and we're just about to go up for a PXG master fitting yep. from one of their approved fitters Stuart McGrath at Running Park yeah, and you might be wondering why I'm here because I have said in previous vlogs that I would never ever get a fitting by anyone else but our good friend Mr Sam Smith oh, and here we are but we've got some big news and we'll share it with you in a minute yep right par three let's measure this distance it's a little short one it is. but it's surrounded by water it's not gonna be the easiest how many balls did you bring <laughs> <laughs> so i'm lasering with a war sport laser if you didn't watch that vlog it's actually on offer at 69 pounds on amazon it's 85.5 yards down just my number Go check that one out i'm it's on the bag it's a right little laser what are you hitting I've just got a little 56. Bit long. What did you laser that at? I've hit that like 9,500 yards. All right, all right. Stop money. You need to work on your distance control then. <laughs> He's flunked green. He's off back edge. First all in one on channel. Oh. Oh. It's perfect, 85. Looks like, Gaz, it looks like I'm a tenor down after today. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to give you a clue. The three holes we're going to be playing is one of the holes is off Sawgrass, one's off St Andrews, and one's off Carnoustie. And we'll tell you at the end which one's which. But we'll see if anybody can get them right. So there's three holes, get them in order. St Andrews, Carnoustie and Sawgrass, we said, didn't we? We did. But we've got some big news. So, as you'll know, I've been borrowing some PXG irons off James. Um, they, they were 03170, have I got that right, Dan? I think so, yeah. I think I've got that right. But he needed them back. He needed them back to do some testing. So I went to have um, some irons fitted with Sam. Took some heads down from stock, some tight list. I think we took Mizuno. Um, we obviously took the PXG as well. And it came out that I was best with PXG. And we actually had a bit of a fairway wood fitting. And it was the same. Came out best with PXG. But, God forbid, we don't stop PXG at Huddersfield Golf Club. So, I was struggling to get any discount. Um, so, I, I wrote to PXG. I sent them an email. And... They actually said that they'd like to support the channel. They'd like to, you know, help me with some gear to play with this year, uh, free of charge. So we're here to test out some drivers, fairways, possibly wedges. Um, obviously, we've had the fitting from Sam, so we're not going to need to sort of do any more testing on irons. But they're going to hook me up with a full bag of clubs. But they wanted me to come and obviously share the facilities here at Rudding Park uh, because... I think it's one of their like key fitting centres. So we've come and um, exciting news. We could be getting a full bag of PXG. First things first, we need to beat Dan. So, I'll tell you what, that's a great quality bunker, isn't it, for a little mini course? Do you know what? For a little mini course, it looks... I know it's winter and wet, but... You know, and do you know the beauty lovely. of this as well? It, if you would have um, booked online, it's £10 to play it. Right. That's so good, And it? they said that you can play this in about 50 minutes. So I mean, it's a nice little. I'm not sure they've seen our game, but I'll take the course. word for it. Right, there's a big clue here. A big clue. I'm going to pan round. <laughs> I hope that's not made it too easy for you, golf perverts. There's something in the background that could give this one away. Oh, he's left it short. Dan, Dan, Dan. Right, Dan, I think you're going to need this one. I think uh, I think you could be right. Up against it today. He's, he's opted for my putter as well, which is on fire at a minute. 
Well, I'm one for a one today, so <laughs> here goes. He tried it earlier at uh, Waterton and knocked his first put in with it, and it were a screamer. No way. Well, he's only gone two I'll from tell you two. what, it's the putter. How much, how much you want? I'll give you seven tests. People were knocking this putter when we were testing them, weren't they? I mean, that's a 20 footer and a 15 footer. Yeah. So that, that's par, isn't it? Par. So we need this With regulation one. stuff. I'll tell you what, I was looking through lens then from yeah. behind and it actually, there's a little sensor say Andrews, just have a look through camera. It's quite quick. I, I don't know what it is, I think yeah. they've done well with that. Oh, I've given it away. <laughs> well, did have guessed by now anyway. I think they would have. I think they would have guessed. We just need this to miss now. It doesn't miss. I'm sick of it. It doesn't that. miss. <laughs> right, absolutely sick of it. Right, so this one does look a little bit more daunting, doesn't it? I wonder if anyone can guess where we are, and I'm not going to get an answer on this one. Get in comments who's losing a ball. You recognised this one straight away, didn't you? I think most people will. Do you know what? I think there's a bit of breeze behind. I don't know dodgy numbers this time. 132. 132. And uh, I think I'm going to go that an eight iron for you? with that little breeze behind. I think I'm going to hit a little 50. Surely you're forcing a 50. I'm not. You don't want to be hitting a wedge on here, I don't think. We'll soon find out though, but it looks small, doesn't it? All of a sudden, yeah. I mean, so goes. Hmm. There's one thing I will say is if you are interested in PXG fittings, we are going to be doing some fitting videos here today with Stuart, which I'm looking forward to sharing. Um, and hopefully getting some new clubs. Got to get your alignment right here, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I like it. Is that going to go? Be the club. Stop, don't spin too much. It's, it's a long putt, but it's over. It's on. I'll take that. I didn't think that would go in very far. Oh, it's, it's nice. I think you've done me on length there. Oh, that had some zig. How much spin did that have? Wow. Dan, what were you just saying? I was just saying, you see these par threes on TV and they're only 130 yards and you think, yeah. it's not that hard to agree. Yeah. And you stand on it and look and you're like, actually it's a little bit smaller than it we thought. It looks like a five pence, just look at that. I mean, you can't, it's even hard to get that perception, isn't it, just looking through camera. Yeah, I mean, it's tiny when you're here in person, it's, uh, it's not good. I think you're going to see it slope here when it comes over the brow of this hill. It's hard to really pick it up on camera, but it's crafty. Oh, he's not seen it. It's a goner. Ah, short game. All comes down to short game. Oh dear. That would be. <laughs> well, I know that. Because <laughs> you're not blaming that green. That... I feel like I've hit it a bit towards the toe. I didn't hit it out of the middle. Oh, that sounds crazy. It weren't a good strike. That might be the disadvantage of this putter because it's not got much perimeter weighting, has it? So you've got to get it out of the middle. I'll give you that. You've been, our... you've been knocking him in from 40 foot. Yeah, I know. It just felt weird when I hit it. I felt as though I'd hit it out of the toe and it just went left. But it's going to stay in bag, yeah? Oh, it's staying in bag, yeah. 112 yards. 112 into it. He's into breeze. Do I go 50? Or is that going to zip back? I'm going to go 50. Because I don't want to fly green. Oh, 
it went. It went. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, oh. oh. it spun back. How much spare were you getting on these greens? That's landed a good three or four yards up. He's gone safe. Oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Shot. He's played for percentages. Well, he certainly went in the drink, so I'm going to drop it in line with the flag. I always bend down funny when I do that. Oh, is that sat down? Oh, there. Oh, I tell you what, there's some pressure now. Huh? I don't want to lose another ball either. Well. Hey guys, I can't wait to see shot tracer on that. For those who didn't pick it up, it's it flag at about 300 mile an hour. <laughs> Back in water. I'm not losing another ball. There he goes. What's the other side of guys? Right, can we get a birdie out of you, Dan? Six pounder balls just down, gone down drain. Hit it, get in. Well played, great roll. I think there's a lesson in there. Don't go chasing pins when you one up. Guys, I'm really sorry about the audio today. We had a little bit of a technical issue. At this point, I'm just congratulating Dan on coming back and half in the match. And I'm thanking Steph, Running Park Golf Academy Manager, for getting us out to film today, getting us warmed up, ready for our PXG fitting. And I must say, if you're visiting Harrogate and you've not got time to play the 18-hole course at Running Park, you've got to play this little 6 hole -er. I cannot wait to go back and play that in this summer. I'm definitely going to be doing a 6 hole vlog on that course. Um, and yeah, it's time to go and get a driver fitting with PXG. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in a couple of days time. Bye.